Our top story, pandemonium at the pool. This was the scene at an apartment complex in Statesboro on Saturday. Police say that chaos erupted after someone allegedly pulled out a gun. The apartment is located near the campus of Georgia Southern, and many students live there. WSAV's Kaylee Fetko a return to the scene today to find out what happened and if anyone has been arrested. Kaylee is joining us now uh, from Statesboro to tell us what she found out. Good evening, Ben, Tina. Thank you so much. That's right. News 3 has obtained a very shocking video of party goers rushing out of the pool, damaging property in the process right here at Cottage Row Apartments. This just one week after shots were fired near a bar not too far from here, damaging the business and a car parked in the parking lot. That's the scene Saturday around 730 at Cottage Row Apartments near Georgia Southern's campus. A gun allegedly being exposed in the pool area, causing a stampede and resulting in a broken gate. But as to whether shots were actually fired, police say there's conflicting reports and there's no evidence that points to that. Officers saying a gun probably fell out of someone's pocket. So anytime somebody sees something like that, a firearm dropping from somebody's clothing, you know, obviously that's a, that's a cause for their concern. I'm sure uh, they don't know what's really going on with the with the situation. So best thing for most people is just to get away from it, get out. Cottage Row Apartments declined to speak with News 3, but property managers sending this message to residents that they're aware of the incident and will increase security during the day. Some Georgia Southern students say they are becoming accustomed to the ongoing crime reports happening around campus. Well, I'm not really surprised because stuff like this happens all the time. It's definitely scary because you never expect anything like that to happen where you're at. Last Saturday, shots were fired near the Blue Room Bar just two miles from Cottage Row. But Captain Aiken says this is not part of a trend. We investigate them as they come. I can't tell you if there's, I don't know that there's any underlying reason for any of it. Uh, they come in fits and starts a lot of times. These investigations, you'll see a cluster of them. They'll be completely unrelated to one another and really no discernible pattern to them. Now, Captain Akins does tell me that the investigation is still ongoing and no criminal charges have been filed. If you have any video related to this incident, you're encouraged to send it to Statesboro Police. Reporting live in Statesboro, Kaylee Fedko, WSAV News 3 on your side. Kaylee, thank you. And we have